hello everyone and welcome to my channel today I'm going to take you through the no man's projection concept so, this concept uh, focuses on the different forms of rotations that a molecule can exhibit in order to understand its stability now looking straight down the bond connections or the bond connecting to carbon atoms in ethane such as this molecule right here ethane and its molecular formula is C2H6 now if you look straight down at this molecule of ethane this reveals a diagram of a Newman projection which is shown as this here so in here we have your eyeball being fixated at the particular carbon here that is positioned aligned alongside the other carbon here so in here if I look at it straight right here what I realize is that if I draw a Newman projection from this perspective drawing right here what I get is this Newman projection right here so what do we have in here we have a situation where there is the front carbon which is this carbon here and this front carbon is represented as three lines in a Y shape so in here you have the carbon position here and you have three hydrogen atoms that are pointing out in the form of a Y or I made it an inverted Y um, shape right here and then what happened to the other carbon here the other carbon with its hydrogens in the form of the red um, color here is revealed by the circle over here so this circle here has three hydrogen atoms projecting out of the circle here so these three hydrogen atoms if you look we will focus on them over here you see that while you're looking you can see one of the hydrogen atom pointing away and the other hydrogen atom pointing towards you and this hydrogen atom is pointing downwards in between the two hydrogen atoms that are at the top here now if you translate this over to this particular drawing here what you realize is that the hydrogen atom that is pointing away is actually turned to the left of this particular diagram over here and this hydrogen that is pointing towards you in the perspective drawing is actually pointing in the right direction of the circle and this hydrogen which is simple at the bottom here is found at the bottom here now what you realize is that under this Newman projection using the thing <coughs> sorry <coughs> an angle between the carbon hydrogen bond on or in the front and the carbon hydrogen bond at the back is called the dihedral angle so this dihedral angle this focuses on the using of two different conformations because it reveals the type of the different types of conformations that exist in various molecules in this case for ethane ethane will have two dihedral angles which reveals two different conformations these two different conformations includes the following eclipse one and two we have the staggered now looking at the eclipse confirmation 
it is known to be a form with an angle of or a dihedral angle of zero degrees so, uh, zero degrees as a consequence the hydrogen atom at the back carbon which is over here is presumed to be hiding by the front carbon hydrogen bond as shown in this diagram here so in this diagram here you can see the projection here where the back carbon is aligned at the same position as the hydrogen atom that is at the front of the carbon and this is revealed in this particular diagram here so the both hydrogen atoms are both pointing upwards in this case forming an angle of zero degrees looking at it from the Newman projection perspective which is this diagram over here this is zero degrees such zero degrees sorry now and on the other hand we have this target confirmation which forms an angle of 60 degrees and uh, let me write it here so the staggered confirmation has an angle of 60 degrees um, as a consequence um, there is a shift in the hydrogen atoms halfway at the back of the carbon hydrogen atom and uh, this is shown in the diagram over here so this is the difference between the previous diagram and the new diagram over here you can see the hydrogen at the back is way off here but the front carbon hydrogen bonds which forms the Y now is being changed from the same vertical position at the front of the back hydrogen atom to a twist so if I move this particular carbon here because we know that the sp3 sigma bond of the carbon carbon bond can be rotated right so once I rotate the bond over what I realize is that the hydrogen atom moving clockwise forms an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the back hydrogen atom bonded to the back carbon which is re represented by the circle over here um, once you change this staggered form is let me just put this out here and this is for that and this is being transformed in the diagram such as this so in here we have the front and back hydrogen carbon bonds versus one of the hydrogen bond pointing downwards if you see over here and why the back carbon has one of the hydrogen atoms pointing upwards or sticking to the same position as it was before while the other hydrogen atoms are pointing downwards in the left and the right direction over here or at the front or at the back position over here and this is it for this video uh, next video we would explore the dihydro angles with their stability on ethane in our next video thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe and share have a good day peace